expected us to win this game. And honestly, I really think we should have. Even with everything that went on, I still think we should have won this game. But we didn't. It is what it is. We move on to the next week. Hopefully, we get this thing changed around. But I did see some positives. Obviously, I saw some negatives. But uh, we start positive on my lists. So uh, let's get into the list of glory. Number one on my list of glory. I got to go with uh, James Bradbury. I like the way this yeah, you know, I like the way this kid's playing this past uh, two weeks. You know, with us, he had four breakups today. He had a crucial interception that kept us in the game. And you know, turn around, he ripped it right from the guy. I like the way Bradbury plays. He does not give up on the plays. He ripped the fumble uh, the week before that we didn't take advantage of, but we possibly could have. My point being, he's never given up on the play. He's playing the right way. He's playing tough the whole game through that's that's what I like to see so thank you James Bradbury and uh, congrats to you for making the list of glory and I hope I keep seeing you here number two Julian Love you were another one had a big interception today again I like the way you play you play tough. Uh, I know it's only your what second game starting at free safety. You improved a lot from week one to week two, and it showed. And you know what? We need guys like you to keep doing that. So between you and Bradbury in the secondary, you know that's a big plus. And I wanted you guys to keep on doing what you got to do because you you also had. He also had four tackles and an interception. You know, congrats to you, Julian Love, for making the list of glory. Number three on the list of glory. Now, you guys know it's tough after a loss for me to really do this list of glory. Because one, I'm a little pissed off because Giants lost. As you are. All are. But, I got to give it to this kid he made me feel a little bit better about what happened Deion Lewis little running back supposed to be just a third down back had 20 yards rushing for us had a tough goal line touchdown four catches for 36 you know not you know fantastic numbers but you know what he made me feel a little bit better that we have people that can help out you know, now that Saquon's probably out for the season. I'm going to get into the Saquon thing a little bit later. But, uh, Deion Lewis, you made me feel a little bit better. Uh, I'm probably, I'm expecting Wayne Gallman coming this next week. But I think it's going to be a heavy dose of uh, Deion Lewis. So, uh, we'll see if you can step it up. But, you, you know, you played pretty well this game. We'll see you a little bit better next week. But welcome to the list of glory, Deion Lewis. And I want to give honorable mention to a guy in two weeks has shown me he's got the guts and he's going to do everything possible to pull us, you know, from the scrap heap to to a W. And he's going to, he's going to continue to try and do everything he can do. That's a... Uh, Daniel Jones, Danny Dimes. I mean, I can't put you on the list of glory because honestly, he had an interception and a fumble. And maybe if you threw a, maybe if you got that touchdown at the end of the game to win it, you absolutely would have been on the list of glory. But you're playing tough. I love the way you're playing. Keep on doing it. Let's work on the mistakes and get rid of all these uh, little turnovers. And you'll be all right. I, I truly believe that. Especially how hard you play. The list of shame. Now, it's pretty easy going list of shame. You can pretty much pick anybody because we lost. Let's be honest. But, for number one, 
probably should have been on my my list uh, last week, but I stayed away from him. But I'm going to give it to two guys. It's really one position. The cornerback two spot, which was manned by Corey Valentine Shame. and Shame. Isaac Yadam. Shame. You guys both got toasted. You, you both got toasted for touchdowns. Uh, Yadam, uh, we traded for you. And what's the what are you doing? Corey Ballantyne, I'm hoping you just, just got tripped up for on the goal line when Trubisky threw it across the field. That should have been an easy interception if you had good coverage. But instead it was a touchdown. But you gotta play better. Or someone's someone's gotta step up and take that job from you guys. And uh yeah, I mean, it's just simply not good enough. I know it's week two, and you got week three. We're, we're going to see if you guys improve. If you don't, I really hope that someone takes that job. Darnay Holmes, hey, go put him at the two spot. I don't care. Logan Ryan, go take the quarterback two spot. But someone needs to take the spot because their teams are starting to figure out that's our weakness. They won't go at, you know, they'll try Bad Barry here and there, but they're going to go after you guys 90% of the time. So, shame on you, Corey Ballantyne and Isaac Yadam, for making the list of shame. And you know what? Go take a few laps. Take a lap. Both of you. Number two, I try to defend these guys. I really do. It's really tough on me because I really feel for these guys. The offensive line. Shame. Hey, come Shame. on. Hey, you know what? Shame. The fumble wasn't even Daniel Jones' fault other than he didn't feel the guy coming and he actually trusted you that you guys blocked. And that was the reason for the fumble. But four sacks. I know Chicago's got tough pass rushers, but they were both coming in injured. And he still gave you a four sacks. Not good enough. You know, Andrew Thomas, I praised you last week, but I definitely saw you get close to a couple times this week. And I know you're still a rookie, so I'll be patient. But the whole offensive line needs to play better. Because people are coming in from the inside, they're coming from the outside, it doesn't make a difference. You guys just gotta learn to play together. There's way, there, there needs to be a lot more communication in the, on that offensive line because I see too many times where guys are look like they're going to double somebody instead and just letting somebody else go free. But that is what it is. Hopefully these coaches figure that out. Or some people are going to sit on the bench. So shame on you offensive line. And you know the fact is offensive line too. We haven't had a running game in two weeks. That's Mainly because of you guys aren't getting a you know, push up front. That needs to happen. It should not be all on Daniel Jones to throw us to a win. We don't have enough skilled players to for that to happen. But again, shame on you offensive line for making the list of shame. Number three. I thought about this one. And maybe I'm just a little mad. And it's not fair for me to put this person on the list of shame. So, you know, yell at me if you want. That's okay. But I'm putting Sterling Shepard. You're on the list of shame. shame. Yes, I know you got shame. injured. And I'm not saying it's not legitimate. But I want to ask one question to Giants fans out there. When's the last time you watched Sterling Shepard in a game? And you'd be like, would you put money on he would actually last the whole game? Because I wouldn't. I wouldn't put any kind of significant money on that. Because I don't remember the last time he's, you know, finished games. And it's, it's getting pretty sad. You know, that totally tackling our top wide receiver, we can't count on. As good as he is, and I'm a big Sterling Shepard fan. When he's on the field. 
But if you're never going to be on the field, then it's pointless that even have you out there. Or even have you signed to this contract. Honestly, if he doesn't come back from this injury and stay on the field, you know what, Giants? I would suggest just cutting that contract. Because it's, it's really not worth it. And so shame on you, Sonny Shepard, for getting injured once again. But just not living up to the potential that you have. Because you have some huge potential that you could uh, do something with. Now, guys, I held off on talking about it. Saquon Barkley. Um, tough loss. I know, you know, all the haters are going to come out and saying that's why you don't take a running back at two is because he gets, you know, because, you know, everybody knew he was going to get hurt. It happens. It is what it is. But, uh, you know, I wish the best to Saquon and I hope he gets healthy. But you know why? Because I still believe Big Blue. Always. Thank <laughs> you.